welcome back this episode is the explanation of the first program that we are already created on the first part of this tutorial series okay this is a common structure of a C programming this program is just print out a simple message on the output console using a function called the printf so whenever you create a C program first thing you need to add appropriate header files into your program so this is the syntax of adding a simple header file into a program so you can use a hard symbol and put use this keyword include and within these symbols you can put your a header file name dot touch means it indicate it is an header file okay so here in our program I using a predefined function called printf. The purpose of printf function is to print out something on the output console. So here I using an output function available with the C program. So I have to add appropriate header file to handle this function. Whenever you compile this program, the compiler will compile all the lines of code available on this header file also and it will compare the syntax of printf within this header file. If there is any mismatch on the syntax, the compiler will report it as a compiler error. Okay. The next thing, if it is a large, whether it's a large or small program, every C program must contain a function called the main method. The main method is considered as the starting point of a program. So that means every program must contain a main method otherwise it is not possible to run the program or it may cause some compiler errors okay this is the syntax of using a simple method in C programming first you have to specify the return type of that function then you have to specify the method name and you have to specify this method uh, method brackets and use these parentheses Actually, this is this curly brackets indicates the boundary of a function. Here, the main method is start from here, and it will end end here. Here, I return zero. That means this function has a return type of integer value. That that's why I return zero here. Okay. Every C program, each statement is ended with a semicolon. If you if you forget to add a semicolon here this may cause a compiler error suppose i just remove the i just remove the semicolon from this statement from this print of statement now i save the program now i am going to compile it now here you can see that there is an error the compiler will report an error here you can see it error expected that means is there is a semicolon is mix, missing that means it expect a semicolon you miss a semicolon on your program okay we can see that here the error report expected a semicolon before a return statement here is the return statement so before return statement that means this statement okay I just put a semicolon here and again save the program um, now I am going to compile it again now execute it Okay, compilation now success. Now I'm going to run it. Okay, we got the output of this program. Now I put a semicolon here. That means this indicates this is also a, a statement. That means it is an empty statement. This will cause no error. If you compile the program, this will cause no error. I just compile it. You can see that again the compilation is success that means you can add any number of statements in a C program but if you add a statement that the syntax of that statement is perfect otherwise it will cause some errors okay here you can see that main is a keyword a keyword is nothing but those words which have predefined meaning in in a programming language is called a keyword that means you can use this in your program but cannot use this as a identifier or variable name here main is a keyword int is a keyword printf is a keyword oh, also you can see that every keyword in C program is only written in small case letters 
C programming is highly case sensitive. Okay, so now I return one more method here. I'm going to uh, I'm going to create one more method here. I'm going to create another method. First, you have to specify the return type of that method. I just specify return type as void. Void means this method nothing return. You can see for the main method, the return type is integer. That means the main method return an integer value. But here I am going to create a user defined method. So I put void here, which means that this method does not return anything. And you have to specify any valid identifier as a method name. A valid identifier means that method name start with, you can start a method name with any any character or you can use underscore for starting a method name but make sure that that method name cannot be a keyword that means it is not possible to make again a main method in this program that means a program contain only one main method also it is not possible to create it is not possible to name the name my method as printf because printf is a predefined keyword so i'm going to name my method as method one here you can see that i using a special symbol called underscore and i using a number but cannot start the method name with a number you can use special symbols or underscore within this method name okay now specify the method brackets this is the method bracket now i have to specify the method range or the method boundary that means this method is start start here and end here this is a symbol method definition okay here also i am going to print a symbol message on this method so i use the same function print of hello again hello again from user defined user defined method this is a statement so i end this statement with a semicolon okay this is a simple method declaration a method has three if you're using a method in a c program that method has three parts first one is the method declaration i already done that declaration now you have to call this method for executing this method for execution of this method you have to call this method using its method name so you can call this method from the main method so here i am going to call this method i just call the method name method one with that function bracket and it's again a statement so i end end that statement with a semicolon okay so this is the method declaration and here is the method calling and one more thing you have to specify that method protocol prototype you have to specify but that method prototype before the main method usually it is included within the header file section okay so this is the syntax here is the syntax of creating a method prototype first you have to specify that method return type here the method return type is void next you have to specify that method name here the method name is method one okay now specify that method arguments or parameters that means if that method has any arguments or parameters you have to specify the data type of that arguments or parameters here okay don't worry we will discuss about arguments and data types in coming up part of this tutorial okay these are the uh, these are the simple steps for creating a method in sensei program you have to define that method declare that method and you have to call that method and finally you have to specify the prototype of that method okay now i save the program i save it and i'm going to compile it
Okay, the compilation process is success. Now I am going to execute execute this. Okay, you can see that this is the first statement. Allow from first to see program. Now you can see that that second line. That means the statement within that method. Allow again from user defined method. You can see that both these statements are printed on a single line. Now I add a special symbol at the beginning of this statement. That means the statement associated with this user defined method. I add a slash n. Slash n means this line go to a new line. That means whenever compiler see a slash n within a string within a string associated on a print of statement then the compiler will print up the remaining part of that statement in a new line that means the compiler does not print this instead of the compiler will print the next the remaining por portion of that statement in a new line so again i save the program again i save the program now compile it now I am going to run it. Okay. Here you can see that now we got the two statement in a two lines. This is the use of a slash n in C program. There is a lot of uh, a lot of other escape sequence slash n. This type of special symbols are called escape sequences. There is a lot of other escape sequences are available in C program. We will discuss all of them in the coming up part of this tutorial. I hope you enjoy this video please uh, try this by yourself and subscribe my channel now for getting more video updates see you in the next part of this tutorial